Hi everyone, so this week is I'm doing topsy-turvy because it's lunchtime now so I'm gonna I think I'm gonna film this afternoon and then tomorrow morning because it's more interesting because we are waiting aren't we boys or well, Tommy's is for the vet to come and give us our vaccinations and the dent the equine dental technician to do their teeth so the vet that's coming is the same vet who's been look, looking after Basil since he, when he had his tooth out before and since so she'll be able to have a little look and see how that's coming on as well so she will give them their vaccinations and then Chesney's going to be sedated because he's always sedated and I think we may give um, Tommy a little bit of sedation as well just to let it get it a little bit less stressful for him bless so I don't think I'll be able to film while they're here because obviously I'll be helping them and they'll be working and that sort of thing so I will update you when they've finished see you in a bit so the vet and the dentist went a little while ago and Basil is eating his dinner basically Tommy and Chesney were sedated so they've just had to stay in all afternoon waking up so Tommy's just eating his dinner now and Chesney, <laughs> I'll give you a bit of a laugh because I thought I'd try and clip him and I, he's standing slightly funny so it's probably not quite as bad as it looks but I think I've done one side a bit higher than the other. Anyway, he's eating his dinner as well. So I started clipping him outside as you can probably see from all the stuff on the floor and then it started raining. <laughs> So we came in, didn't we, Chesney? And made a big mess on the floor. Anyway, so I've abandoned it now. Abandoned it now for the evening. Here's his hair on the floor outside. So now I need to sweep that up. So Basil was really good. Weren't you? You don't have to have sedation, do you? Because you're such a clever boy. And the other thing that has happened today is I've had a hay delivery, <laughs> which is a bit... Um, <laughs> I'm not quite sure what they were thinking when they did this today. Um, obviously I didn't want it too high because I can't get to it, but um, yeah. <laughs> so it's like, it's everywhere and I can hardly get in the door now because this is the door here and outside and inside. So I'm just trying to do Chesney's hay nets. Um, anyway, so mad. I'll finish doing Chesney's hay nets <laughs> and I'll see you in a few minutes. So Chesney is eating much slower than normal. I mean he has a huge meal and he does eat it fairly slowly but often when they've just had their teeth done they eat more slowly so they slightly change the feel of them. Um, so often they eat slightly differently for a day or two, but it's nothing to worry about, is it, Cheza? Is that nice? Is that nice? Oh, there's a good boy. There's a good lad. So I think Tommy, Tommy, when I first gave him a bit of hay, he had a little bit of hay before his food to check he was okay. Hi, Poppet. And he was a bit unsure when he tried to chew it. Um... I think maybe because his teeth felt quite different um, but he seems to have settled now um, eating absolutely fine and now he's just waiting for his apples which is why he came to the door a minute ago isn't it and Basil's definitely eating more slowly tonight than normal because he's still not fin- oh you've just finished it um, and it's so warm in the evening, he's at night time at the moment, even though he's clipped his back to having his thin rug on because he was too hot in his um, next th um, thickness up, his claret rug, weren't you? Just mad this weather, which is raining. And you can't see much else because it's dark, but it's just wet, wet, wet. So we'd better sweep up this hair and then we'll pick out Basil's feet. We've done Chesney and Tommy's feet. 
Tommy's getting so good with his feet now. I really am just so chuffed with him. The farrier is coming again next Thursday. Um, and I think he's going to try and use a tripod on his front feet next time. Is he, is he Basil? Do you reckon? Um, probably not on the back feet. I think that will take a little bit longer before we do that. But ha just having them picked up, he's brilliant. Um, uh, my hand's getting wet in the rain. <laughs> He's, he's really good and he, the last one he usually picks up before I get there so he's definitely learning. Is he learning? I think I've got something nice in my hand. I haven't. Not yet. No, bite my hand you little monkey. Should we do tootsies? Oh. Do you get the impression they're waiting for something? What would you be waiting for? Apples? Say night Tommy. See you in the morning everybody. See you in the morning everybody. Morning everybody. So it's the next day. Um, I think I didn't record as much yesterday afternoon as I had planned to so I apologise about that. But they're all eating their breakfast now. And um, Basil's covered in shavings and made a nice big mess. Um, but I thought actually that I would quickly just give you an update on um, it's raining again on uh, fireworks night because it's Saturday the 7th of November today. And the good news is that a couple of weeks ago we found out that my neighbours, or the neighbours here, where I keep the horses, so sort of my neighbours, um, and not having their big bonfire party this year, which means there's not going to be loads of big fireworks, which is such a relief. Um, the other neighbours um, know um, to tell me, um, and they obviously just have like one or two or three that they set off, um, but actually there haven't been any this week here. Um, and without this big bonfire party, um, where they have like loads and loads of fireworks and big light display, and it goes off like practically over the top of the stables because they're only um, a little way that way. Um, which I was, Chesney and Basil have always been very frightened, um, so I knew they would be as well. And, I, and, and Tommy, obviously, I mean, Fidget was a bit frightened, but not as bad. But I know that it would have totally freaked out Tommy. So that was really good news, but it means I haven't used my um, means I didn't use the poms, um, so I haven't had a chance to use them. So I can't really tell you if they work or not. I'm afraid, um, which in some ways is a shame because I wanted to do that. But to be honest, I'm just really relieved. Um, so that's firework night this year. Has um, obviously I think as one village over has got a a bonfire and firework party tonight um, but that's far enough away and obviously it's quite windy so it's gonna um, the way the wind's going it should blow the noise away from this direction as well so that shouldn't be a huge thing tonight although I'm gonna be around um, again anyway so that's my firework night update so the plan for today is when they've eaten their breakfast I need to change rugs is to, hello Tom Tom, how are you doing this morning? Is to change his stable round, but I will, um, I want to do the big muck out and then I want to reorient his stable, but I think maybe I'll explain that to you in a little while. Better get some rugs changed, Tom Tom. You got to go. <laughs> so Tommy and Basil are out. Tommy, you can see all the nice muddy puddles that are appearing already. Right, Tom Tom. And Basil and Chesney. Can we squeeze through the gate, Basil Brush? Beep beep beep. <coughs> Chesney is still eating his breakfast. Are you still eating your breakfast, Chesa? Chesney's got some um, butte. Actually, it's not butte, it's Danilon. Um, in his feed. I talked to the vet yesterday evening, uh, well, yesterday afternoon about him because um, he's 
having a bit of trouble with one of his back legs at the um, now. Obviously, he's got arthritis, and it's quite a lot worse um, in the last um, few weeks, really. And, and going into the winter, obviously, it's going to be worse with the cold and the damp. So we're going to put him on a low level of um, this Danelon, which is a um, to try and um, relieve some of the uncomfortableness. I'd hope he's not in too much pain, so I'm going to use the word uncomfortable, um, so that he's but yeah more so that he's more comfortable. So we're starting off with one twice a day, so one in his morning breakfast and one in his afternoon tea. Um, for three days and then we're going to reduce it to one a day and then we see how he is and then we sort of reduce it a little bit until we see what is his maintenance dose so I'll just make him a little bit more comfy which is nice um, for him now he's 21 and a half hey Ches Ches anyway I'm going to let him finish his breakfast in peace good boy and he doesn't seem to mind that um, he's still in because Basil's only wind sucking on the gate. I think he can hear him. So I'm going to get Basil's hay soaking and then start on the mucking out. And then he'll be ready, hopefully, at some point to go out in the. Tommy's decided to wait for Chesney as well. I don't know if you can see him in the dark just behind Basil. <coughs> Bless. <coughs> he's such a cutie. And suddenly it's light and we can see everybody. And Tommy's there and you can see all the mud. So Tommy, Basil and Chesney's just having a lick. Hey Chesa, are you eating all your breakfast now? <laughs> Tommy says, don't point the camera at me. I thought they'd be desperate to go out to be honest because they've been in since lunchtime. I know it's raining. But I thought they'd be desperate for some grass and they're all just standing by the gate. You daft. All of you daft. Go on then. Jessa, we'll come. We'll come. Good boy. Find your leg, please. Oh, perfect. Good boy. Right then, I'd better get on with the mucking. So, we've just had a bit of a disaster. They were all still standing by the gate. Oh, now it's raining. Um, and somehow, somehow Tommy got um, just up here. Um, and I, I've always had this little bit fenced off down the side here because um, partly Fidget used to have that to try and um, for his sort of to limit his grazing, but also because Chesney runs up and down, as you can see when I'm riding take Basil out on the hack. I didn't want him to do that by the main fence because all the posts would have just um, fallen down so I keep him away from the main fence by putting that there. Anyway I've been saving that because last year um, I had to use it obviously when Chesney had his abscesses in his feet. If you watched any of my videos last year you'll know. Um, so I was saving that, trying to keep it in case because it's quite a good like little contained area that doesn't really get muddy because they're not in it so it's quite useful anyway anyway <coughs> Tommy obviously had got got right up here between the fence which is supposed to be along that uh, here and Chesney decided I don't know why Tommy did it because he knows better but Ch Chesney decided he didn't want Tommy that side of him and so tried to put his ears flat back and bore his teeth at him and Tommy panicked and, um, <coughs> went through the fence well he, he tried to jump it he nearly jumped it but he didn't quite so we broke a little bit of electric fence um, I haven't managed to get I'm sure he hasn't hurt himself because it's not it you know it breaks very easily um, I will check him later obviously but I can't get near him at the moment um, so of course, as soon as there's a hole, Chesney follows him in and Tommy's and um, Basil. So now they're in that bit. Then. Disaster averted, he seems to be, well not really averted, disaster over. And um, I'm about to get back to the mucking out. Actually, I've finished doing the skipping out, so I'll just tell you a problem with Tommy's stable. Basically, I've always 
like with all the others, I've always had it so that the bed goes along the uh, along like this, and they have a space at the front, and they have their water and the hay um, along the front. These the rubber mats in the stables were basically came from I had in my last stables, so I brought them with me so they don't fit that well. So uh, because Fidget was the lightest, he got the his stable had the real sort of mismatch of rubber mats, but I didn't quite come to the door. So, and because Tommy unfortunately creates a lot more wee, as you can probably see, it actually soaks under the mats here and comes down the front here. So any hay he drops on the floor, now um, obviously then he can't eat because it's got the wee soaks in so it also means the stable gets more of a mess along the front here because um because it's all wet and horrible along the front so what i'm going to do is get a tie ring put up here move the bed so that it's that side of the stable because he doesn't use that water anyway so i'm going to move the shaving so that he's got a little gap at the front and he's going to have his hay net at the front and his water can stay there and then hopefully the shavings will all that are going to be along here will soak up all of more of the the wee that comes along there and his hay will be in a nice dry bit um because of um which i didn't say is the stable slightly slope so because the wee is supposed to drain and the gutter's there so that when i wash it out wash them out it comes out but obviously it's not quite working as it was so that's the plan so I'll show you that when I've done it look at these two now Jesney's just walked forward a little bit actually, but they were eating right by each other a minute ago all is forgiven they, Daisy's investigating the new hay is it nice days? He's built it for a nice adventure playground for you, hasn't he? Do you reckon? Is that fun? Why are you wagging your tail? She don't know who she is. <laughs> Very wet horses. Very wet horses. It's absolutely. Can you see it? Chucking it down. And well, I've done Chesney's stable. Nice clean shavings, and I've started messy Tommy's. So here's Tommy's new stable. Not new stable, but newly arranged. Got his nice new shavings in. So I've just got to put the ring up there. It's not really a very pleasant day today. It is absolutely chucking it down with rain. So I don't think I'm going to be able to look at the poor boys down here. If it's going to focus on, I don't think I'm going to, it's really windy as well. Is it going to focus? So, oh, look at them. <laughs> so funny. So, I don't think I'm going to be lunging or riding Basil today. Oh, I think Jessie is falling asleep. <laughs> So when I've done the sort of the ring out on the stable, I, I think I will be going home. Bless them. Oh, falling asleep. Wake up, Chesney. Such a funny boy. It's too wet to lie down, mummy. Anyway, so. On that lovely note, I think that I'm going to leave the vlog there for this week <laughs> and I'll see you again soon. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys, bye!